In this video, I wanted to see what would happen if I started a game of EU4 with all techs already unlocked. Turns out there's a very good reason why you shouldn't do this, which I find out at the end. Jesus Christ, look at that siege ability. Each phase is three days. <laughs> Everything's a carpet siege. Right, does that force... Oh my God, I've never seen so much red in my life. The game doesn't know what to do. I don't know what to do. It's the weirdest experience I've ever had in EU4. But first, around 70% of you aren't subscribed to the channel. If you end up liking this video or you've watched our content before, please consider subscribing. It really does help us out. Alright, so um, what's better than Ulm? That's right, better Ulm. For the inverse of, uh, of Tech 1, I wanted to see what happened if I had all techs. And uh, well, let me take you around my nation, because I thought, I deserve a break. This is my holiday after all. We've got a lot of uni work going on, so I thought, let's, let's do something that's going to calm me down a little bit. Um, firstly, <laughs> chat like this. 20% Royal of Armies, 10% Discipline, um, Mason's Bonfire, I didn't change that. Movement Speed, Core Creation Cost, Siege Ability, Infantry Combat Ability, Aggressive Expansion, Nash Unrest, and Ruthless Administration, which gives us 10% Administrative Efficiency. <laughs> and uh, so many ideas, I even took naval ideas as well. Why not? Um, I'm not going to be using Artillery, because I think that's a bit, you know, I don't want to say cheating, because... <laughs> it just create a nation and then use console commands. In charge of our nation is uh, Gunther von Ulm. Obviously 666, Discipline Conqueror. Here are our stats in case you're wondering. 130% uh, Discipline um, and 8.3 morale. <laughs> Contrast, the highest morale right now is 3 and the highest Discipline is uh, 109. So, see how this goes. Nationalism, Imperialism, everything. Right, so, let's get started, shall we? I don't even have full morale. This is a terrible idea. I mean, you know the drill. It's not going to be a terrible idea. And they're already dead. I lost six men. Can I send one cavalry unit to take out these two? They just start with no morale. Jesus Christ, look at that siege ability. Each phase is three days. <laughs> Everything's a carpet siege. All right, well, let's just take this. Are you getting a sense of how this video is going to go? <laughs> All right, so the rule is I can't have more than 10,000 troops. So I have to be always under 10,000. And this siege time is so like, oh, it, it it fills me with joy. Look at that. Jesus Christ, these things don't even have unrest. That bippity boppity boop. Oh, this one's a bit harder. Probably gonna take me like a month instead of the usual six days. Oh no, I need more troops. That's a fort. Look at these idiots with their pikes. We've got guns. <laughs> right, and let the sieging begin. I feel like in half of these videos, I'm complaining about the uh, speed, the siege speed times. And it just, ah, oh, I don't have to do that anymore. It makes me feel so good. Oh, coalition. Oh, we'll see about that. Right, time to select my new rivals because I've killed the others. <laughs> He's just standing there like, I don't know what to do here. I'm gonna go home. Oh, sorry, I think we hit a row bump. Feel anything though. All right, Mulhouse now. The, uh, this down. So satisfying. I mean, surely Europe has to band together to stop me at some point, right? We're just gonna let me do whatever I want, surely. I should go after a big dog now. Imperialism against Bohemia. <laughs> just loads of some, some guys just furiously scribbling out the results. I seriously wonder how the... the oh, that's a battle. You? 28 guys died. I wanna know how. Got six like disease outbreaks right there. <laughs> game's trying to figure out how to screw me over and it's dead, it just can't. I win, game! I win! <laughs> Complacently. I, I mean, the event was like, oh, we're invincible. They're calling us the invincibles. Like, I mean, yeah. Yeah, we are. Really glad that they removed the ability to vassalize someone. <laughs> so much fun, Paradox. So much fun. There isn't anything to pillage! <laughs> oh no! I'm sorry! The game thinks your lands are literally worthless! I'm gonna quickly full annex uh, Bohemia. There they go. I feel bad for the Saxons, they did nothing wrong. Oh, there we go, here's the coalition. Finally! <laughs> he's, he's very loyal, he's like, I don't, I don't want to risk this one. I saw what he did last time. Form Swabia. Why, why would I do that? Sorry. Threatening my trade? Austria, buddy, I can't have that. 
So I want to leave you for later. Now, Saxony will bear the brunt of my rage. Here's the coalition. Jesus Christ. Will it fire though? That's the thing. Poland. Yeah, here's where, here's where it gets dicey. Okay, right. That's not good. Our king died and he had some great traits. So that, that's probably going to trigger some rebellions. But what I've realized, the key is to siege them down. Right? Sounds obvious, obviously. But, like, if I siege them fast. They, obviously, I can siege faster than they can. And it's more of a time barrier to them to come and siege back their stuff than it is, well, for me. <laughs> this, is how, this is how the game should just be played. None of this achievement hunting, Iron Man, hardcore. No, this is, this is it. This is how we play. It's movement speed. I like to think we invented trucks early. In 1450, just zipping down the railway. Which separates the Chad troops from the others. Oh yeah, it does. Guns. Alright, well that's... That one done. 153% of extension. What's my aggressive expansion? <laughs> I still think Brittany, like, still couldn't join a coalition. They're like, hmm, they've conquered... Most of Central Europe in about six years, but I, I don't know. I'm on the fence and Castile just doesn't care. Three are Tunis, they're like, yeah, this is a normal day. All right, I think I need to start heading towards France. Try and get them to care. Who's close to France that doesn't necessarily... Ah, here we go. Good, deal with these rebels real quick. The pointless wars. The pointless wars? Too, they got... I'm still talking about this event and I got it again. Aimless wars. What do you mean aimless? Quite a specific aim. Content. Whoa. Look at this. Three is expanded to two extra provinces. No, we can't we can't have that. That's aggressive. Disgusting, really. No one else will handle it. I'll do it myself. Oh, minor inconvenience. That's quite a large inconvenience because they're going to have the same stats as me. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is very bad. All right. Well, this is bad. <laughs> very bad. Right, yeah, the, the rebels have the same stats as me. That's awful. Because some of these are like more than 10k. Oh no. I have to say, a poll really getting involved. No, it's impressive to say the least, because he wasn't, he didn't choose this life, but he's he's bloody going for it. I appreciate that. You know what? I have a merchant. A merchant? A diplomat. I'm gonna prove relations with that. You've earned my trust. 42%. You know what? You got it, guys. Come on, 42%. Yeah! Good job. Mm, large coalition, but, uh... They're gonna do what they're gonna do at this point. All right. Does that force... Oh, my God. I've never seen so much red in my life. The Ottomans don't care. They just don't care. All right. Who isn't in the coalition? Austria. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, it's Brunswick, but I have a truce with them. I think that's everyone I can attack, really. I mean, we've got to take advantage of the situation, right? Austria is not in the uh, the coalition, so the aim of this is to sort of try and force me to lose more than anything else. I want to see if it's possible to lose. Is able to be competent? No, no, my boys! Save them! I can save them! You bastards! For a second there, I thought that was Ulm come back from the dead to try and sort me out, and I was a little bit worried there. I think I'd rather not fight 12,000 of the best soldiers on Earth, to be honest. That might not be the smartest of moves. Right, here's the thing. I've got to make sure I don't go down low enough to get stacked by. All right, Lee, you got to insert that meme music. Otherwise, use this. For the right reasons. Uh, deja vu. Da, 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 da. This place before. Local defensive, defensive tactics difference. Hungarian tactics difference? How do they have higher tactics than I do? What does that mean? Wait, they, so they're worse, at, they're worse at siege warfare, therefore... It's harder for me to watch because I can't understand their machinations. I'm too smart for them, is that what you're saying? I'm too smart for Zemplin. Or I can fully annex Austria. That's the plan. Oh, God, that looks like, like a cancer spreading through the land. And 157 of her extent. Which is actually terrifying because, again, if these Austrian separatists rise up, for example, I'm screwed. Oh, it looks like Brittany's decided they're no longer on the fence. Still not quite. Aragon, Aragon's scared. The Ottomans, they still don't care. Right, no rebel issues. Look at that. It means it's time to go after the Ottomans. To be fair, 100 casualties is the most anyone's ever dealt to me. So, that's good. Right, I can't bust through these two ships, so um, I need to get some coastline. 
It means declaring war on uh, on the Byzantines. All right, should we see if one galley on its own? I do have full naval ideas, and it is take 32, but can one galley take out the entirety of the Ottoman navy? I really, really don't think so. But it's worth trying, right? All right, buddy. Go on. Here we go. I'm not sure it scales like. Oh my god! There's a coalition. Right. Right. Okay. The game's lagging out. Is it gonna crash? It's freaking out. Oh my okay, right. Is it is it sorted itself out? Okay. One ship is holding its own, to be fair. Who are we get okay, it lags out because of the amount of people we're against. Who are we fighting? <laughs> Everyone. Oh my god, the lag. <laughs> With the Byzantine Empire reduced to a distant memory. It was literally three years ago. Oh my god, that's the AI's plan. It's trying to take out my country by not letting me play. It's weird. When it's paused... Okay, this turned into a different challenge because when it's paused, I can't do anything. But when it's playing at speed 5, the game runs. Playing the game like three frames a second. Here we go. Right, I'm just launching myself into them. They're like ants. Jesus. The game doesn't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Jesus Christ. It's the weirdest experience I've ever had in E4. Oh, I could have got stack wiped there. That was dangerous. I can't even pause because if I pause like I just did, it freaks out. Come on, game. Figure it out. Figure it out. Oh, a pull. They were innocent. Game just occasionally has a stroke. I mean, I would too. I think I might have a stroke by looking at this. All right, let's go... Here, here, and then here. Figure it out, game. There's space bar. That's not what I said. Is that 100,000 men? That might be 100,000 men. That's... Yep, that's that's bad. That's very bad. Okay, okay. That's that's awful. That's awful. All right, quick. Build men. All right, we'll meet up in Prague. I've managed to re regain my army, but my God, was that close. Ulm. Oh, God, I've got to rescue Ulm. Oh, my eyes hurt. So this is... this. I can't even imagine what this is going to look like on YouTube. I just don't look at it. It's okay. All right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna look over here. Hope the game, yeah, the game's faster. I just don't look at it. Armies are in combat. General died. Who's one of the six dudes that died? How did that work? I think my PC's crashing. It's not doing too well. Ah, well. <laughs> I think that counts as the AI winning. I'm not too sure. My camera and green screen and all that stuff has arrived, so expect a face reveal very soon. Um, that'll probably happen first on Twitch and then on YouTube. I have some great ideas to do with that as well. As always, if you have any ideas of your own, put them in the comments down below. It would really mean a lot to us if you could fill out a survey that I'll put at the top of the description. It's just so we can get a general idea of what you guys want to see and what you like seeing, so we can continue to develop the channel in a direction that you guys like. Anyway, enough waffle. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.